when I say that Roe v. Wade is just the beginning, that is not hyperboil. That is not me fear-mongering. That is a very serious reality that we're facing, and I will give you examples. Just yesterday, police officers can't be sued for Miranda violations, according to the Supreme Court. Miranda v. Arizona is why we have Miranda rights, and it makes it so if a police officer does not inform you of your rights and then gets information out of you, that can't be used against you. And they're violating your rights by doing so. And according to this ruling, you can't sue them over that. Or how about in a 6-3 ruling, court strikes down New York's concealed carry law. And you know what this and the Miranda rights thing have in common? No one asked for this. No one came to the Supreme Court and was like, hey, I feel like this is unconstitutional, or hey, too many cops are being sued over Miranda rights violations. They just decided to do these things. And Clarence Thomas made it very clear what's next. Thomas, in his opinion concurring with Dobbs, calls on his court colleagues to next overrule Griswold on contraception, Lawrence on same-sex sex, and Obergfell on same-sex marriage. Griswold guarantees you can use contraceptives, so without it, a state can say if you get pregnant, you cannot have an abortion. That's illegal. But you cannot take steps to prevent a pregnancy in the first place either. And those others would make it where a state can say gay marriage, illegal. Gay sex, illegal. And while Clarence Thomas doesn't mention it because, you know, he has a white wife, Loving v. Virginia that says that interracial marriage can't be made illegal is also on that chopping block. Republicans are only 35% of the population, and not all of that 35% shares kind of extreme religious-driven views like this. And yet, people with those views have managed to control the majority of the Supreme Court. They represent the smallest collection of Americans and what they want, and yet they're applying it to all Americans. This is the fastest turn toward right-leaning ideologies in America's history, and it's happening while Democrats control the House, the Senate, and the presidency. And that makes no sense.